Good evening, everyone. My name is Charlie Jeffrey. I'm the Vice Chancellor and President of the University of York, a member of the UK's Russell Group of World Class Universities. <laughs> Such a pleasure to be here celebrating the inauguration of the City College, University of York, Europe campus with you all. Let me too uh, thank our colleagues and friends at City College uh, for all they've done over the past year, but also for arranging this event to mark this important milestone. Uh, and also to thank Cisco for hosting us at this fantastic venue. I also wanted to pay tribute to our esteemed guests uh, here tonight for the tremendous support that they have shown to this exceptional collaboration. The Minister of uh, Interior, Secretary of Macedonia and Thrace, the Deputy Minister of Education of Kosovo, the Consuls General of France and Bulgaria, the Honorary Consul of the United Kingdom, Members of Parliament, the Mayoress of Skopje, the Deputy Mayor of Thessaloniki, and former Mayor of Thessaloniki, Butaris. Also, George and Fratini Stratagankis, the City College Company Directors, whose extraordinary vision is behind City College. And finally, Mayor Servas and His Excellency Mr. Matthew Lodge will be joining us later by video link. And just a few weeks ago, our colleagues at City College shared a photo of students beaming from ear to ear as they started their first day of studies at City College, University of York, Europe campus. Looking at that picture, it struck me just how far we have come in building our collaboration and what we've achieved in such a short space of time. And the fact that all of that work has taken place, place remotely and during the pandemic is a testament to the commitment, collegial nature and determination of all those involved. Let me thank them again for that. The strategic alliance that we've built between City College and the University of York is reflective of our shared commitment to learning teaching and research. The students' experience at the heart of everything we do, we have a shared commitment to meeting the highest quality and standards. As a true partnership, we'll continue to learn from one another's expertise. And a true partnership, it is. I'm proud to say that we're unique in our ambition for the integration of our institutions and a strong platform for collaboration that will bring. City College teaching staff hold honorary positions at York. We've established a shared governance structure and we contribute to each other's strategies through representation at each other's senior leadership committees. And as we go forward, we will broaden collaboration in areas such as interdisciplinary research and teaching, <coughs> student staff mobility, joint summer schools, and shared professional practice. Now, importantly, I think crucially, all of that joint activity is underpinned by a foundation of shared values. The University of York recently launched a new institutional strategy that recalls and renews the principles on which the university was founded in the early 1960s. And we were founded to do research, I quote, that ameliorates human life and conditions. We were to care about the opportunity, about opening up the opportunity of higher education more than almost anything else. We set out to research and to teach regardless of class, creed or race. And our ambition was internationalist. Our students were to develop and act as citizens of the world. We summarise all of that in a simple statement of purpose. The University of York exists for public good. We reaffirm those principles today. And it's striking how they echo the founding purposes of City College that Yanis just talked about. We know that our colleagues in City College share that commitment to public good. And their work over the last decades is an especially vivid example of internationalism in practice. It shows an extraordinary commitment to the idea that we learn 
to exchanging ideas and experiences across national and cultural boundaries, and through that, we improve the well-being of our international community. It was such a delight when I walked into City College for the first time yesterday to look to a room on the left and to see that phrase, citizens of the world, one of our founding principles, emblazoned on the walls of City College, in the voice of its Greek originator, Socrates. How wonderful that we have that shared understanding of what we do. We truly do have a shared vision and deeply held common values, and that's why we're so excited today to inaugurate the City College University of York Europe campus. But a true partnership doesn't involve just our institutions. Over time, a true partnership builds into vibrant links between their respective communities, cities and regions. That's why I'm pleased to be meeting with you all this evening as important stakeholders of this community that we are building. As citizen communities Thessaloniki and York start their relationship with many shared attributes. For instance, I recently learned that Thessaloniki is known as the mother of migration. York is known as a city of sanctuary. It too has a centuries-long tradition of providing refuge to those fleeing persecution and conflict. And I look forward to exploring the wealth of cultural artifacts and monuments which give Thessaloniki its UNESCO World Heritage status. York too is rich in heritage with its Roman foundations, its Viking heritage, its medieval walls, and its magnificent minster. However, our cities are certainly not settled in the past <coughs> when it comes to innovation. Both York and Thessaloniki are vibrant innovation hubs, driving economic success and social inclusion across their respective regions. The venue that we're in tonight, for instance, typifies Thessaloniki's leading role in new digital technologies. York too plays a key role in innovation in areas like the creative industries, robotics and autonomous systems, and the biotechnologies that we hope will establish our region as the first carbon negative region, not carbon zero, carbon negative region in the UK. We want our partnership to connect with and drive on those economic opportunities in York, in Thessaloniki, and linking between the two. And the City College University of York Europe campus will also forge new collaborations in research that help to address the challenges our international community faces. This has already gotten off to a tremendous start. Our graduate research school at York is collaborating with the South East European Research Centre to offer co-supervised PhD studentships. And even in this early stage of our collaboration, our researchers have already collaborated on two Horizon Europe proposals. Over time, we look forward to partnering with research institutes and innovation enterprises across the region to further economic growth and contribute to the research talent base. But right at the heart of our shared values is the commitment to open up the opportunity for higher education to those who have not had that opportunity. We all know that welcoming and accepting those with different experiences, backgrounds and perspectives is not only right and just, but it also leads to the generation of new knowledge and the betterment of human life and conditions. That's why the University of York's new strategy pledges to ensure a level playing field for students, no matter what their background. And we're thrilled that our partnership with City College extends that commitment to increase access to a high quality education internationally. Uh, Yannis has told us that 65% of the students studying at the City College University of York European campus are international. How wonderful that is. We and our esteemed delivery and awarding partners, the University of Strasbourg, Senesepia, Bulgarian University in Athens, Athens Tech College, will be giving students in Athens, Baku, Belgrade, Bucharest, Kiev, Sofia, Tbilisi, Thessaloniki, and Yerevan the passport to opportunities that a British degree, a Russell Group degree, and in the case of the MBA, a French degree uh, can offer. 
Through this network, students will have access to a truly global community and have truly global opportunities. This experience will no doubt mean that those graduates will become leaders and champions of inclusion in whatever careers they pursue. We also look forward in our partnership to working with humanitarian organisations to see how what we do in our teaching and research can support those fighting the impacts of the greatest challenges our world faces, from climate change to civil unrest, migration and famine. So as cities home to heritage and innovation, cities that are welcoming and supportive communities, we have a brilliant foundation of similarities on which to build an enduring partnership. I just wish we shared the climate. <laughs> I, I'd, I'd like to leave the old stage now, as I'm sure we're all looking for, forward to hearing uh, from uh, the Minister of the Interior, <coughs> the British Ambassador to Greece, the Mayor of Thessaloniki, the Honorary Consul of the United Kingdom, our esteemed teaching and awarding partners, and last not least, I'm really glad they're here as well, representatives of the student body and alumni uh, of City College. I and my colleagues, uh, Tracy Lightfoot as York's Pro Vice Chancellor for Teaching uh, and Learning, uh, Rachel McSween, our International Director, really look forward to talking with you this evening uh, as members, all the members of our new community, about how we can work in partnership and develop that partnership to further shared aims and ambitions for years to come. Finally, once again, thank you to colleagues at City College and uh, Cisco for hosting us all tonight. Sas Evaristo Poli.